Meanwhile, Webster Central School District Superintendent Dr. Carmen Gamina will retire after 31 years with the district, effective tomorrow. Current Deputy Superintendent Brian Neenan will take over as interim superintendent. Kayla Green following this story from us she, for us tonight. She is reporting from Webster Schrader High School. Kayla, a sudden departure here. What happened? Well, Maureen, the re retirement was finalized at a special board meeting this morning, which lasted just over two minutes. Now, this news comes just a couple of weeks after former teacher and coach Callie Watkins filed a lawsuit against the district, naming Gamina specifically in the suit. May I have a motion to accept the resolution for the resignation for the purposes of retirement for Carmen Gamina effective immediately? This morning, board members approved Carmen Gamina's retirement, effective tomorrow. In a letter sent to teachers Thursday morning, Gamina says, It has become more certain to me over the last few weeks that this is the best decision for me, my family, and the district. I will certainly be around to help in the immediate transition as Brian Neenan takes over as interim superintendent. Just two weeks ago, former teacher and coach Kali Watkins filed a lawsuit against the district. Watkins was found not guilty in 2019 after prosecutors claimed he raped a 14-year-old student in a locker room at Webster Schrader High School. The lawsuit says Gamino was having an affair with a female faculty member. It says he later found out Watkins had an intimate relationship with the same woman and he became jealous, influencing the investigation. The lawsuit also says, instead of protecting Watkins' due process rights, the superintendent made up his mind and very publicly questioned the innocence of Watkins in front of faculty members. He held an emergency meeting, informing faculty members to cut off contact with Watkins. He sent school officials to bully faculty members into silence. News 8 reached out to Watkins' lawyer regarding the timing of Gamina's retirement news, and he says, Kali Watkins filed this lawsuit to set the record straight and to reclaim his life. We will not speculate about why the superintendent and chief of police both decided to retire. I reached out to the Board of Education and the district regarding the retirement, and they both pointed me to their joint statement. In regards to the lawsuit, the Board of Education says they have no comment at this time. Live in Webster, Kayla Green, News 8. All right, Kayla, thank you. The Board of Ed president said this in a statement this evening. The Webster CSD Board of Ed expresses its sincere appreciation to Dr. Gamina for more than three decades of service and commitment to thousands of Webster students and families. We wish him well as he begins this next chapter and thank him for making a difference in our schools and community.